Um, Ted, uh, get, what's your feeling of uh, how the families are feeling about this? I know it's like asking somebody who's going to win the election, but are, are they more hopeful for uh, a death sentence? You know, a lot of the, some of the parents that I spoke to said that they would prefer uh, the death penalty in this case. As you recall, uh, Cruz initially said that he would uh, plead guilty and take a life sentence. But since uh, that was not on the, since the death penalty was on the table, uh, they wouldn't take that off the table. That's why they had this whole sentencing trial here. But I just want to bring up a couple things as to what was said during closings from uh, the prosecution. I think the most important thing or the most poignant part was when uh, Mike Satz said, um, what one writes or says is a window to his soul. Uh, he said, and in this case, the shooter said, no mercy, no questions. I'm going to kill a lot of people. I'm going to murder children. And I'd love to see the family suffer. Also pointing out, he specifically targeted yes. Valentine's Day. That was, that was on purpose that uh, he chose Valentine's Day. He urged the jury to uh, make sure that they watch the YouTube comments that he made. Look at those videos, because again, that's a window to his soul. He said what he was going to do and that he actually uh, carried it out. Also this morning. Mike Satz spoke of each victim of, as to how they died, went into detail, which was extremely difficult for families to hear once again about how their loved ones were killed. Lori Alhadef left the courtroom in tears as she was hearing about her, her daughter's death, so that was very difficult um, for the families. They also went over the aggrava aggravators. There are seven aggravators that the jury should consider in this case, things like uh, was he convicted of a previous felony before, and in this case, they, he re told the jury to keep in mind he pled guilty to 17 murders, 17 attempted murders. So those are uh, aggravating uh, factors. Also uh, said that this is especially heinous, atrocious, and cruel. Said that was, that was proven beyond a reasonable doubt, that it was cold, calculated, and premeditated. Um, said that that was, um, that was, there's no doubt on that. What he's going to do now when they go back in is he's going to be talking about the mitigators. These are the things that the defense is going to bring up to try and convince the jury that no, he doesn't deserve the death penalty. What he deserves is life in prison. So that's uh, what his next step is here in the closing arguments. Yeah, Ted, and some of those mitigating factors, you know, when we're covering this trial is obviously things to make the jurors sympathize with Nicholas Cruz, naturally being his childhood, his upbringing. So can you kind of touch on some of those mitigating factors? You know, I think the big thing that the defense is bringing up is that uh, he had fetal alcohol syndrome, that his birth mother uh, drank excessively while she was pregnant. There were uh, people who testified to that effect, that, uh, that she drank a lot. She was on the street, uh, partially um, for prostitution as well as uh, drugs and alcohol. And they're saying that's a factor in how Nicholas Cruz uh, operates, that he has brain damage from all that alcohol that was consumed during pregnancy. So that's going to be one of the big things that I believe that the defense is going to bring up when it's their turn.